Hello ladies and gentlemen, many of you will know me as Orion from Stellar Parallax. And we've been receiving a lot of questions lately on how to install, uninstall and switch between our two mods, Armada 3 and Agents of the Federation for Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. So, rather than just answering the same question over and over again, I've decided to make a quick little video just detailing the process. I think you'll find it's going to be a very quick and simple process. And it's a lot better than using the in-game mods menu, which leads to crashes more often than not when dealing with large full conversion mods. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need to find your mods rebellion version 1.85 folder. Take note of the file location here, but this is the correct folder to put all your mods in. Now we know that it hasn't been version 1.85 for a while, but this is the correct folder. So let's go ahead and open that. You'll see here, the two Stellar Parallax mods, Star Trek Armada 3 Uprising and Ages of the Federation, The Four Years' War. Now these mods are activated and deactivated via this little file here, the Enabled Mods file. So let's open that up. It should open up in Notepad or Notepad C++ if you have it. Alright. Now we've got that opened up. See here, it says Enabled Mod Name. That is the mod that is currently active. As you see, I already have Ages of the Federation activated. And you can tell that it is active because there is a 1 here under Enabled Mod Name Count. Now to deactivate the mod, you just change that 1 to a 0. You save. Boom. Stocks in should load up, but we want our mods to work. Let's change that back to a 1. Save. Done. Reinstalled. Easy peasy. Next time you start up Sims, Ages of the Federation shall load up. But what if I wanted to play Armada 3? Well, that's very simple. Just let me go back into the Rebellion Mods folder. Now, in order to activate a different mod, this text here, under Enable Mod Count Name, has to be exactly the same as the name of whichever folder you are currently housing your mod in. So let's go ahead and, the easiest way to do this, let's go ahead and copy exactly the Armada 3 folder name. And let's just replace it. Let's just replace Ages of the Federation with Armada 3 Uprising. As you can see, it is contained within quotation marks, and there is an empty line beneath all the text. Let's go ahead and save that. Boom. Up. Armada 3 should be installed. So let's just test it out, see if it's working. Let's open up Steam. Launch Sins, press play, and let's see what the, what the hell happens. Ta-da! It works. It's a miracle. So yeah, there you have it. As you can see, it only takes a few seconds, and this process works for all your big mods. Your Thrawn's Revenge 2, your Dawn of the Reapers your Sins of the Prophets, big mods like that, no problem. I know it takes a few seconds. Just don't be intimidated by a few lines of text, guys. It's it's just, it's really quite simple. You can't break it, and if something goes wrong or you're stuck, just, just contact us. We're always here to help. So, yeah, enjoy. Play the mods. Get out of here.